The Google Pixel Watch is finally available and it's absolutely incredible. So today I wanna to show you a complete beginner's guide covering this new Pixel Watch and all the features that come with it. We're gonna start off with the setup process, then dive into all the incredible tips, tricks, and hidden features that are gonna allow you to walk away from this video like a Pixel Watch Pro. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video, our complete beginner's guide on the Pixel Watch. When we unbox the Google Pixel Watch, you're gonna notice it has a circular design like most watches do. It differs from the Apple Watch, which is more of a square rectangular design. It also has a stainless steel coating surrounding the watch's face for maximum protection. And in addition to this, it's also protected from splashing and scratching. So you don't have to worry about scratching it. That won't happen. And on top of this, it's okay if you get some sweat on it. There's no need to worry. The watch will be completely fine. But let's unbox and see what all the features it has to offer with this brand new Pixel Watch. When you unbox the Pixel Watch, you're going to notice it already comes with a band connected. So you don't have to worry about connecting it yourself since it's already right here. But it also comes with an extra band as well. And I'm going to show you how to connect these two bands so you can figure that out yourself. And on top of this, it also comes with a charger that's used to charge the Pixel Watch. It has a very fast charging time, which is super cool, and I'll dive into that later. But these are all the things that it comes with when you unbox it. We have the watch, the watch band, an extra watch band, and the charger used to charge the Pixel Watch. So before we connect the Pixel Watch to our phone and set it up that way, I want to show you how to put the band on your wrist and also disconnect the bands from the watch face itself. Both are super easy to do, but as you can see, to put the band on, all you have to do is just slide the loop or the band right through this loop right here and it has this little metal tab right here where you can adjust the size according to your wrist and all you have to do is for example just place this little metal tab through one of these holes right here just like that and after that you just want to tuck the remaining part of this band through this loop right here just like this so it's not sticking out and just like that we have the pixel watch connected to our wrist i didn't put it on my wrist for the sake of this video because it's easier this way but you can adjust it according to the size of your wrist super easy to do and to remove the band from your wrist you just do the opposite of what i just said so all you have to do is just pull the band through the loop right here, disconnect the metal tab, then slide it through just like this, and now it's disconnected from your wrist. But now let me show you how to remove the bands from the actual Pixel Watch's face itself so you can get an idea. So to disconnect the band from the actual Pixel Watch face itself, it's super easy to do. You just want to use this button that's next to the band right here, and that allows you to detach and attach the band to the Pixel Watch's face. All you have to do to detach it is just press this down like this, then slide the band over this area right here. And just like that, the band is no longer apart and connected to the Pixel Watch's face. Super easy to do. Now let me show you how to put it back on the Pixel Watch's face. So to connect the band back to the face of the Pixel Watch, all you have to do is just put it down and press down with the band on this little button that I just showed you. And all you have to do after you do that is just slide it in just like this. Super easy to do. And now it's connected back on the Pixel Watch's face. And keep in mind that the Pixel Watch also comes with another band that I just showed you, and you can use that band as well to connect your band to the Pixel Watch's face. Super easy to do. Now let's dive into setting up the Pixel Watch and connecting it to our phone. So the Google Pixel Watch is compatible with most Android phones, and for the sake of this video, I'm going to be connecting and using it with the Pixel 6 right here. And the first thing you want to make sure you want to do is have your Bluetooth turned on on this phone. To do that, all you have to do is just go to this tab up here, scroll down, and as you can see, my Bluetooth is turned on right here. Just make sure that's turned on so you can connect it to your phone when we get to that part in this video. So right when you turn on your Pixel Watch using the crown right here, a little tab's gonna pop up on your phone that you're using saying Google Pixel Watch device app is start to set up. So you wanna go to the Google Play Store and download this Pixel Watch app to get started. Super easy to do. Let's click go to Google Play right here. And now we're gonna be able to install this app to get started with this watch. Just click install right here, wait till it downloads, and then we'll go from there. So the first thing that pops up in the setup process is this little tab that says allow Google Pixel Watch to find, connect to, and determine the relative position of nearby devices. So you definitely wanna have this turned on so you can know when it's connected and when your Pixel 6 is nearby. So let's click allow right here. And now we're just going to wait for it to check our Google account. And this just may take a moment. So come back to the video after this part's done. And then after that, it's going to ask you an email or your Gmail to sign in using your Pixel watch. So I just put in my email. It's probably preset already on your phone that you're using. And now just signing in that way, you want to make sure it's linked with that specific Gmail that you want to use for your Pixel watch. So just wait a moment, then come back after this and make sure you use that right Gmail to connect with your Pixel watch. After it's finished loading, it's going to take to this page saying welcome to your new google pixel watch stay connected to your body and your world so let's click next and see all the features that it offers right off the bat and we're going to be good to go so let's click next so i already showed you how to put it on your wrist earlier on this video and as you can see i just placed the pixel watch on my wrist so we're all set with that so let's click next right here so now it's going to ask us to set our watch orientation so this helps you determine whether you want to have it on your left 
or right wrist. I prefer my left one, so I'm gonna keep it right there. And then you also can choose which side you want the crown to be on that wrist. I have it on the right side of my left wrist at the moment. So I like the way it's at right now and I like this orientation. So I'm gonna click next right here, but you can change that if you'd like. And you can also learn how to switch the bands. I already showed you how to do this, so we're not gonna dive into all of this. So let's click next right here. And we also went over how to remove your band as well. So let's continue right now and attaching a band so we can skip through all of this and now one of the greatest features about the pixel watch is it's connected with fitbit so you can get the fitbit mobile app and you can personalize your fitness goals track your progress and see how well you're sleeping and more with this app so i suggest downloading that asap to get better health metrics delivered right through your wrist with this pixel watch now after you install fitbit it's going to take us to this next page saying talk to your watch so one of the best features about the pixel watch is you can use google assistant right through your wrist without having to go on your phone it says set up google assistant and use your voice to send text manage your day and get quick answers so we definitely want to have that set up if you have the pixel watch so let's click setup right here and dive into this it's going to take us to this other page and it's going to connect for one second so to access your google assistant all you have to do is start off by saying hey google whenever you want to contact them and if you agree google assistant will stand by to detect hey google when this watch is fully awake so it's not fully set up yet but hey google also requires voice match so your assistant can recognize you as well so we're going to go through a few features to make sure it knows who you are when you say hey google and you can ask certain questions like what's the weather you can get directions so let's click i agree so we have all that information and we also can activate voice match with this watch so here's all the things you want to keep in mind you can allow the assistant to identify you and tell you're apart from others and if you decide later that voice match isn't for you you can simply remove it in assistant settings but i definitely think you're going to want to keep this because it's definitely worth it so let's click i agree right here so now that google assistant is set up there's two ways to contact google assistant when using your pixel watch you can either a say hey google directly just like that or b you can press and hold the side button right here and you can contact google assistant that way and as soon as we finish the setup process i'll show you how to use google assistant but we're almost done so let's click continue right here and now it's going to ask you to set a lock on your watch so on your watch set a pin or a pattern to keep it secure and enable device protection features so you can choose a pin or a pattern i think a pin's easier for me personally so i'm going to choose that and i'm going to enter a pin on my watch right here as it shows i'm going to put in information to just come back to this video after you set up a pin so i just put my pin in and set that up on my pixel watch now it's going to take us to this page on my phone where it says select apps for your watch we pick some apps to help you get started including some apps that are on your phone and on other devices so some of these apps are going to be already installed on your phone that are just going to translate directly over to your pixel watch so as you can see we have these ones right here like my camera spotify and tips then you also have these recommended ones that you can choose right here as well and you can click on this tab and choose all these and check them off depending on if you want all these i think all these look great so i'm going to check off all of them at the moment so i can have them all downloaded all at the same time then we're going to click continue right here and just like that once our setup is done it's going to take us to this page right here on our pixel watch saying hi there learn how to use your new google watch so let's do this because i'm pretty new to it as well but i want to show you all the amazing features that it comes with so let's click this check mark right here and let's start with swipes so let's click check right here and now it's going to ask you to swipe up for notifications. So whenever you want to see any notifications that you receive, these will be from your phone and they'll appear on your Google Pixel watch. You can swipe up just like this. And now you're going to see all the recent notifications that you've got from your Pixel watch. We'll click check right here. So to swipe down for quick settings, all you have to do is swipe down like this. And now it's going to show you all the settings that you can access directly through your watch's face. I'm going to dive into all these settings later right here in the control center. But let's click check right here now that that is all set. And now it's going to ask you to swipe from the left edge to go backwards. So if you ever want to go backwards, you just swipe from the left edge of the Pixel Watch that way, just like this. And now we can also learn about tiles. So let's click this check right here. And now it's going to say tiles are accessed from the watch face and show helpful information from your app specifically. So let's click check right here. Swipe left or right to cycle through your tiles. So for example, if we swipe this way, it's going to show my steps for that day. We can keep swiping to see other titles like heart rate. And also there's two buttons on the Pixel Watch watch we have the crown and the side button right here you use the side button to contact google assistant i'll dive into that later but let's learn more about them by clicking this check right here and to press the crown you can go back to the watch's face so whenever you press this button right here it's going to take you back to the watch's face just like that and then you can also return to the watch face anytime. So let's click check mark right here. And now from the watch face, press the crown for more apps just like that. So if we do this, it's gonna take us to all the other apps that we have on our Pixel watch. 
And as you can see, we have all of them right here. Simple as that. And you can get all of your apps from directly going this way. If it's click check. And now you can also press the side button to see recently used apps as well. So like I said, you can use this for Google Assistant, but it has multiple functions. So if you want to see all the recently used apps, you can click the side button right here at the top above the crown. Just click that right here. And it's going to take us to all of our recent apps that we've opened. We have Fitbit and you can access all these recent apps from anywhere at any time. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day and that is charging your actual device. Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to Elgear.com, stop using those old-fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables, and upgrade to the 2-in-1 lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand, and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to Elgear.com, the link's on the screen and down in the description. Enjoy! So to switch to your last used app, you just have to double press the side button just like this. And then also if we go swipe right like this, it's also gonna show you more features like talking to your Google Assistant. So watch what happens when I hold down the side button to contact Google Assistant. Hey Google, show me the weather. Currently in North Andover, it's 57 degrees and partly cloudy today. And that's how you use Google Assistant. Like I said, you can either say, hey Google, or hold down the side button right here. As you can see, I just said, hey Google, and it popped up. But this is one way to use it. There's two features, but this is a super cool thing that I definitely recommend setting up on your Pixel Watch because it comes in very handy and you don't have to pull out your phone to contact her and ask her anything that you need. You can also use the crown right here to contact and bring you to the Google Pay page. Now, I don't have Google Pay set up, but if I did, watch what happens when I double click this crown right here. It's gonna take me to Google Pay. I have to have an account and I have to add a card to that. But if you already have that set up, I definitely recommend setting this up right here. It comes in very handy. Instead of having to pull out your phone to use Google Pay, you can do it right here on your Pixel Watch. And now since the walkthrough is complete, I can show you this all myself. So if we wanna to go to our recent apps, like I said, you just click the side button right here. It's gonna take us to all the recent apps that we've opened. And if you scroll down, you can click all apps right here. And now it's gonna show you every single app that's available on your Pixel Watch right here. This is how you do that right here, just by using the side button and not the crown. Also say you wanna shut off your watch if you, and also say you wanna shut off your watch, for example, you can just hold down the crown right here and that'll actually shut off your watch. And if you do the opposite, it'll turn it on. So watch what happens if I hold this down right here. It's gonna take a moment and then it's gonna ask if I wanna power off my watch or restart it or contact emergency SOS. I don't wanna do either of these right now, but I just wanted to show you how to do this in case you wanted to figure that out. Just hold that down to shut off the power or restart it, just like that. Now to scroll through your apps, I already showed you, you can just move your down like this and use your finger. You can also use the digital crown to navigate through your Pixel Watch as well. All you have to do is just twist it like this and it'll move down to view all of your apps just like this. So this is how you use the digital crown. There's a few options to navigate through this Pixel Watch. You can either use your fingers and your hand or you can use the digital crown, so it's up to you. And I just showed you when you hold down the crown, you can have the option to contact SOS or emergency services, but there's also an alternative way to do it. I'm not gonna do it myself because I don't wanna contact them, but if you wanna actually alert emergency services, all you'd have to do is just rapidly press on the crown right here at least five times, and that'll actually contact 
your emergency services just by doing it that way. You don't have to pull your phone and dial 911. You just have to press this rapidly and that'll signal your watch to contact emergency services in case you didn't know. And as I previously showed you, if you swipe left or right, you can see certain titles and information directly to the face of your Pixel Watch. So for example, if we start swiping like this, it's gonna take us to our steps and how many steps we've walked that day and how many you're trying to reach for a specific goal. And you can change that obviously. We swipe right again, it's gonna show your heart rate at the moment. We swipe right again, it's gonna show you some exercise options like running, biking, or sprinting. You can also choose more and I'll show you all these exercises later because they offer a ton. We swipe right again. It's also gonna ask you for a Fitbit today so you can log in your Fitbit mobile app to see your sleep trends as well. I'll also set up Fitbit later on in this video but just know you can see this as one of your tiles. We swipe right again, it's gonna give you the calendar, it's gonna give you the weather, and it's also gonna ask you to search certain things if you'd like to with these tiles on your Pixel Watch. So that's how you navigate around right here. But let's go back to the watch face. And I wanna show you a little bit of information about the watch face itself now. So now I'm gonna be showing you a lot of features that you can access on your Pixel Watch itself. But keep in mind, and at the end of the video, I'll show you this as well. There's actually the Pixel Watch app that I showed you how to install earlier on in this video. There's tons of different settings and features you can access on that app on your phone instead. But for the sake of this video, since it's a Pixel Watch video, I'm gonna show you how to navigate get a lot of these features on the watch itself. But like I said, I'll walk you through the Pixel 6's phone and the settings on the Pixel watch on that specific phone later on in this video. But let's dive into how changing and customizing your face works on this watch. So as you can see, this is the face that started off when I set up this Pixel watch. And I honestly like it. it's a nice display. It's very simple too, which I like. It shows the time, the calendar, and then also if we click on it, it shows how many steps I've walked that day. It shows right here, if we click on this, it's gonna take me to my Fitbit stats again. Then also it's gonna show my heart rate on the right. But if you wanna change this, for example, all you have to do is just hold down on the watch's face like this. And this is the utility watch face itself at the moment. But if you wanna edit this, you can just click edit right here. And now we have the option to edit this face. And the first thing that we can change is the color of the icons and text on this watch face. So we have lime right here, but if we click on that, you can choose tons of different colors from lemongrass, pear, spearmint, fern, tons of colors to choose from. So it's completely up to you. I like aqua, I think that looks good. I think that's a good fit. You can completely change these up to your preference. Then if we swipe right, it's gonna take us to our modulars. So our modulars are different icons we can edit. So if we click that right here, we can choose different layouts for this design for this watch face. So we have modular one, modular two, minimal. So for example, let's just try out modular two. We can see what that looks like. It even shows like a little thing that says 11 a.m. coffee. But let's go back and try the other ones out. Let's go modular three, for example. It's gonna show this. It's pretty similar to the previous one. I also wanna see what minimal looks like. So minimal is very simple. It just shows the time itself. I like, honestly, I think I like modular two the most, so I'm gonna stick with that one, but you can choose these different layouts for your watch's face right here. And now for the next section, you can choose which icons you want to be shown on the face of your Pixel watch. So say you wanna change any of these, let's go back right here. You can actually choose different complications to add for this specific face. So for example, if we wanna change this 11 a.m. coffee chat thing right here, we can click on that and choose different complications like the weather, next event, moon phase, and media control, or battery. So let's click battery and have that shown instead. So right now it's gonna show that battery and I can alter this with any of my other icons right here. If I wanna change this, I can go to, let's try moon phase right here. And now it's gonna show the moon phase at this moment in time and this specific date. So this is how you can change the complications and icons on the watch's face. Let's swipe right and you can choose if you want bold time or not. So if we click bold time, it's actually just gonna make the clock and the time bolded completely up to you. This is how you wanna design it depending on what you prefer, but I'm gonna keep it off like that. But this is how you actually edit and change the faces on your Pixel Watch. The Pixel Watch offers tons of different faces for its screen. So you can choose tons of them. This is only one of them, but if we hold down right here, let me go back and hold down like this. If we go and swipe right, you're gonna see other designs that you can choose as well. So we have this classic one right here. We have everyday, we have concentric, radial, tons of options to choose from. I like track, for example. So if you wanna set that, I already showed you how to edit all of your different watch faces previously in this video, but you can choose any of these faces that work for you and you can go from there and edit them however you want. Full custom ability with this Pixel Watch. Definitely recommend trying them out and giving them all a spin to see which one you like the most. So as I previously showed you in this video, you can access the quick controls on your Pixel Watch simply by just scrolling down like this and you're gonna see tons of different features that you can access. And I wanna walk you through 
through some of these because some of them are super cool and they're worth knowing. So let's dive into the first one right here. If we click this icon, it's actually a feature I've never heard of before. It goes turn on touch lock. So you can turn off your touch screen and you won't be able to use it as a touch screen with your Pixel Watch. Instead, it'll be using the crown. So this turns off the touch screen completely. And to turn it back, you just have to press and hold the crown for two seconds to turn it back on. So this is completely up to you. This is if you don't want to use touch controls, you just want to use the digital crown instead, but that's completely your call. Now, the next feature I want to talk about in the control center is pretty self-explanatory, but we have the flashlight right here. So watch what happens when I click this icon. You're going to see the screen of the Pixel Watch starts to bright up and actually as a flashlight so you can use this if you don't have your phone with you or if you don't want to pull it out of your pocket you can use your flashlight on your pixel watch instead pretty self-explanatory and if you click it like that it starts to turn red instead of white and if we keep clicking it it's going to shut that off the next two are also pretty self-explanatory right here we have google pay like i said i haven't set that up but i showed you how to access it earlier on in this video we have airplane mode right here you just want to turn that on when your flight's about to take off so it doesn't interfere with the connection of the plane and then if you click this icon right here it's actually going to cause your phone to start ringing and vibrating notifying that it's near you in case you lost it so listen to what happens when i click this my phone's right next to me, not on the screen And just like that, it helps you find your device if you can't locate it. It'll create a large sound coming out of your phone. So you can use that if you can't locate it right away. That's another control feature. Then if we go over here, we have our brightness. So you can actually choose how bright you want your screen to be. We have adaptive brightness turned on right now. And you want to keep that on because if you have that on, the Pixel Watch is actually going to adjust the brightness depending on your location and how bright it is in your surroundings. So I always have this on because then it just adjusts based on where I am. But you can also increase your brightness by clicking the plus button right here or decreasing the brightness by clicking that minus button and then this icon right here is actually bedtime mode so if we click in this watch what happens is you have the option to turn on bedtime mode and with bedtime mode your watch screen tilt awake and touch are turned off alarms priority and repeat callers will interrupt so i suggest using this and turning this on before you go to bed so you won't get any notifications or won't feel any vibrations or sounds coming from your pixel watch or your phone so you can get a better night's sleep and you won't get distracted so you can always turn on bedtime mode just through the control center on your pixel watch if we go back to the control center right here let's just click cancel and then we go back we're going to see we also have this icon right here and if we click on that we also have the option to turn on do not disturb so you'll only get notified by important calls and apps and you can adjust this in settings which apps you feel are necessary to be shown regardless if you have do not disturb turned on or not but this is how you can access that it's similar to bedtime mode except you can turn this on at any period of the day and then we also have theater mode right here and you can turn on theater mode and that'll turn off the screen and screen wake gestures and silence all alert. So this comes in handy if you're in a movie theater or you're watching something with your friends and you don't want to be disturbed and you don't want other people to be disturbed while watching that movie, you can turn this on and you won't get any notifications so you can enjoy that movie throughout. And then this one's also self-explanatory. We have our battery icon right here. This is going to show how much percent you have left on your Pixel Watch. I still have to show you how to charge your Pixel Watch. It's super easy. I'll show you that later on in the video. But this shows how much is left and you also have battery saver option you can turn on right here. And this turns on this turns off always on screen and tilt awake to extend your battery life so if you don't want to reduce your battery and it's getting low i recommend turning this on we don't have to right now because i'm only at 51 percent. but if i was getting lower you can turn on battery saver right here now let's go back to the control center and then we also have our settings so there's a lot of settings to look through i'll dive into all these later but this is how you can quickly access all your settings right through the face of your pixel watch then lastly we have our ringer so i have my ringer turned on right now so that means whenever i receive a notification i'm going to hear a sound coming coming through my pixel watch but if i turn that off now i'll just hear a vibrate or i'll feel a vibrate through my pixel watch instead of hearing a sound i like to have my stuff on do not disturb or my ringer off so i don't hear notifications instead i'll hear that vibrate completely up to you but these are all the control center features you have on your pixel watch i'm going to dive into all these settings now but this is how you access the control center just by swiping down like that i want to take a quick break from the video to introduce to you guys rakuten the best app to get cash back and other great deals. With Rakuten, you're gonna be able to shop at stores you love and earn great rewards and other great deals just by using this app. And also with our exclusive link, with Rakuten, you're gonna be able to earn an additional $30 just by using it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to access that link and earn your free $30 right now. Claim your free $30 from Rakuten using this exclusive link. All you want to do is just go to Safari or any web browser you have and type in bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. That is bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. Now that's in the link in the description as well of this video. 
and it's on the screen right here. So make sure to check those out to find it at the end of this video. But this link is exclusive to AppFind. So you only can get this $30 from using this link. So we made sure to get you guys the best rewards possible through this partnership. And you guys are also supporting our channel by doing this. So I want to thank you guys for that. But let's click on the link right here. It'll be in the description, like I said. And it's going to take you to this page. And it's going to say, all I can buy is to get $30 once you join and spend $30. So all you have to do is just create an account on Rakuten, which is completely free, no charges or costs involved. And once you spend that $30 on Rakuten, you're going to get a free additional $30 on top of that. So it's a win-win because you're going to be able to get free $30 and you're going to be able to get cash back while shopping at your favorite stores. So all you have to do is just put in your email and create a password and then you are good to go with this exclusive link with Rakuten. For using our exclusive link, I want to show you guys the Rakuten app. It is right here. It is super easy to use and navigate. It has up to 3,500 plus stores where you can earn cash back and other great rewards. So odds are that if there's 3,500 plus stores, one of these are going to be your favorite stores to shop at. So you're losing money if you essentially do not download this app and use our exclusive link to get that extra $30. But as you can see, there's tons of different sections to choose from. Stores are members to love. For example, we've got Macy's and Walmart. At Macy's, you can earn 10% cash back. Other great deals in the category section. So if you have a specific category you want to look into for sports and goods or health and beauty or any of these, you can gladly go to do that on this category section. But if we click on sports and outdoors, for example, we're going to see Lululemon, Athleta, Adidas, all these other stores right here where you can earn cash back. We're going to click on Lululemon. It's going to show you the 2% cash back right here and more information. It's going to tell you when it expires. It's going to show you these top coupons. But this is just one of the categories of many Anything you want to shop, essentially Rakuten will have that. So you guys definitely got to download this app. You're losing out on money if you aren't using Rakuten. And think, keep in mind that you're also going to get an additional $30. So you're overall saving tons of money by using our exclusive link and using Rakuten in general. And do not miss out on this opportunity, guys. Enjoy. Right now we're on the settings of our Pixel Watch. And there's just a few I want to talk about because a lot of these are self-explanatory. But I want to go to the display section right here. You have the option to change your watch face, adjust brightness. But I want to talk about Sunlight Boost, which is a pretty cool feature that I didn't know about. And if we click on Sunlight Boost, I have that turned on right now. And this essentially will temporarily boost your screen's brightness when you're in direct sunlight so you can actually see what's going on on your screen when it's bright around you. So I have that already turned on. I think when you get the Pixel Watch, it has it turned on, but you can turn that off if you like. But that's one of the features and settings I wanted to talk about. So let's go back right here. You have your font size right here, and you can also choose how long you want it to be before you go back to your Pixel Watch's face. So I have after one minute, and you can choose immediately right here, two minutes, five minutes, completely up to you. But essentially after one minute, Minute since I have that turned on. After one minute, it'll go back to my watch face. After two minutes, if I click that, it'll go back to the watch face. So you can choose any of these options completely up to you. I prefer having after one minute, but let's go back to our settings. That's a little bit about the display right here, but I want to show you a few others. So health profile is one I want to talk about as well, because with the Pixel Watch and any smartwatch, it's important to help keep track of your data and all your health and well-being right here through this Pixel Watch. It comes in very handy. And you can actually click on health profile and you can see your gender, your weight, your height, and depending on that, that any of those have changed, you can edit that right here. And then all your health data will be adjusted accordingly to all of these metrics right here. So that's how you can access that. If you want to go to this, you just go to settings and you go to health profile. And there's a lot of cool features you can access in the accessibility feature on your settings for your Pixel Watch. If we click on this, I just want to walk you through a few of these. So first we have magnification. And by turning this on right here, it's actually going to increase the size of everything you see on your screen so you can see it more clearly and largely. So if we turn this on, I just want to show you what that looks like. And you can enable it right here and you can triple tap to zoom in just like this. And as you can see, it actually magnifies my screen. This is completely up to you if you have trouble seeing or not. I prefer the way it is, but if I want to go back, I can just go back like this, then go back to settings and go back to accessibility right here. And I want to dive into a few other features in this section. Another feature I want to talk about is talk back right here. So if we click on that, you have the ability with talk back, a screen reader that will convert the text to speech for people who are blind or have low vision. So this is similar to magnification. If you have trouble seeing, you can turn on talk back and it'll actually convert any text into speech so you can hear that and you don't have to see that. I'm not gonna turn this on, but you can completely choose this. You also have a button shortcut and you can turn that on as well. And by doing this, you can triple press the side button right here to turn talk back on and off. So this is for people who are blind or have trouble seeing. So I'm not gonna dive too much into that. 
Then let's also go down here and I want to show you about power button and call right here. So if you're talking to someone on the phone, you can actually talk to them under Pixel Watch instead. And if you turn on power button ends call by clicking the power button right here, it's actually going to end that call no matter where you are or if you're speaking on your phone or Pixel Watch, it'll completely shut off that and end that call right there. You can turn that on. I have it off right now, completely up to you. So those are some accessibility features. But like I said, the settings, all these features in it are pretty self-explanatory and you can figure those out yourself. I just wanted to walk you through a few of these, but you can access your settings either by going to your apps like this, or if you go back to the home screen, you can scroll down to your control center and click on the settings tab right here. I now want to talk about some of the apps that come with the Pixel Watch because some are super cool, some are self-explanatory but to access these apps, you just click this crown right here. You're going to see all the apps that come with the Pixel Watch. You can download more on the Google Play Store, but these are the ones I have right now. Some of them are self-explanatory, like Agenda. If you click on that, you're just going to see the today's date and if you have any events found on that. We go back right here, we have alarm. So you can actually create an alarm directly through your Pixel Watch. And then when you receive that alarm or when it goes off, you'll hear that alarm through your Pixel Watch or you'll receive a vibration instead. So just to show you, if we click plus right here, you can choose the time, the PM, AM, the hours and the minutes for that specific alarm. So if we wanna do this right here, we just click that. And now that's gonna be my alarm in 23 hours and 59 minutes. And it'll go off as soon as that alarm is hit and that time is reached. So that's pretty self-explanatory right there. Let's go back. We have Google Assistant. I'm not going to dive into that because we already discussed that. We have our contacts. So all your contacts that are on your Pixel or your phone are going to be synced directly through your Pixel Watch. So you'll have all of those right here. And then one of my favorite apps on the Pixel Watch is Fitbit Exercise. So if we click on this right here, you're going to see tons of different options for workouts. You can choose like run, bike, workout, and you can explore more exercises. They actually have tons of exercises right here. And you have a Fitbit account you can log in as well. But if we go to all exercises, you can see tons of them, even from boot camp circuit training they even have golf and like kickboxing essentially any workout that you want to do you can find on this fitbit exercise which is super cool so depending on what you like to do when you work out you can have that option on this app then if we go back there's another fitbit app right here fitbit today so if we click on that it's going to show your today's stats like everything like your health how many steps you've walked how many floors you've climbed distances, calories burned. It's going to give you all that information and you can set goals as well. So say you want to reach a certain amount of calories burned or a certain amount of steps, you can help reach those goals and set those and customize those on your Pixel Watch. And then you'll receive a notification when you actually exceed or accomplish those goals. So that's pretty cool right here. I think this is a great app to track your health. We can go back right here and let's go to the other apps. If we go flashlight, I already discussed that, Google Wallet. One of the coolest apps right here is the hand wash timer. So you can actually use your Pixel Watch to count how long you need to wash your hands for. The standard time is 20 seconds, but if we click on this right here, it's actually gonna say wash your hands, always use soap. So you turn that on and now a 20 second timer is gonna go off, which is the normal amount of time you wanna do to wash your hands. Then after this time's up, it's gonna vibrate. Your Pixel Watch is gonna let you know that that time is up and you've successfully washed your hands. And then we have media controls right here. So if you click on this, you're gonna see that nothing's playing at the moment, but say you're listening to music or any audio on your phone or with your Pixel Buds, you'd actually see that song playing right here as well. You can listen to it through your Pixel Watch if you like. You can even increase or decrease the volume depending on how you wanna do that. So this is how you can see what music or audio you're listening to at the moment. We go back to our apps right here and scroll down. You're going to see messages. So I want to talk about messages because it's pretty cool, actually. You can see all the recent conversations you've had on messages through your Pixel Watch right here. And you can even start a new chat right here just by clicking that. You can choose any of the contacts that you have in your contacts on your phone and create a conversation with them right here. And they also give you automated like suggested texts to send like, hey, how you doing? what time is it and stuff like that. You actually have automated and customized texts that you can send out that are suggested through your Pixel Watch. It's actually pretty easy to send out messages if you want to do it, or you can view messages instead, completely up to you. But that's the messaging app on your Pixel Watch. Let's go back. We have personal safety right here. And for safety and emergency, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can contact emergency services by clicking that, and you can also see emergency location services. So you'll automatically send your location to emergency services responders directly through your Pixel Watch. You don't have to go through your phone if you're in some sort of trouble and you can't pull out your phone, you can use your Pixel Watch instead because it's easy to use. It's right on your wrist. 
Let's go back to apps. We also have our phone. So like I already told you, you can speak to anyone through your Pixel Watch as a phone. And if you click this button right here, that'll actually end the call. So that's one other app we have. The Play Store, if you wanna download more apps, you can do that right through here or on your phone yourself. I already walked through the settings and the stopwatch. And you can create a timer right here. Just click this. You can choose how long you want that time to be. And you can start a timer and you can add to that as well. A lot of these are self-explanatory, but I figured I'd walk you through these. We have weather and we also have YouTube music. So a lot of Android users use YouTube music as their music platform. You can go to this, you can see all the songs you have on YouTube music and you can play them anywhere through your Pixel Watch, your Pixel Buds and your Pixel phone. They're all compatible with one another. So that's a great feature. These are all the apps I just walked you through. And if you wanna get more apps, you can go to the Google Play Store, but all these are pretty cool, especially Fitbit exercise and Fitbit today. I suggest using those every day to track your health and well-being but these are all the apps you can check them out right when you get this pixel watch now let's dive into a few more features so i don't have the charger plugged in at the moment but if i did i want to show you how to charge your pixel watch it's super easy to do you just plug it into an outlet then you all you have to do is just place the bottom of your pixel watch right here on this little platform it's magnetic so it'll actually stick you just place it right here and it's going to charge they charge super quickly so you can actually use it with a single amount of charge for a long period of time so this is how you charge it pretty self-explanatory just place the pixel watch right on this platform plug in the charger and you'll be good to go so i walked through tons of different features to set up and use your pixel watch but i already previously mentioned that you can actually access a lot of these features on your phone for example as well so i have the pixel 6 right here and if we go to the pixel watch app that you can download on the google play store you're going to see all this information that i showed you so you can choose your watch face you can edit your tiles you can go to all the settings that you have that i just showed you on the pixel watch tons of to dive into right here if you prefer doing it on your phone you could definitely do that because i know a lot of people like to use the phone because it's a larger screen so it's completely up to you but just know you can access all these features on your phone as well when you get your pixel watch i hope you enjoyed today's video this is a complete beginner's guide on the google pixel watch and if you found this video helpful make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this i also encourage you guys to go to appfindvib.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox in addition to this, go give us a follow at Fine VIP, which is our Instagram account. We're going to be sharing the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all products out there like Apple and Android. And lastly, while you're at it, I also encourage you all to go to bestrewardsapps.com and check out all these amazing apps that allow you to win incredible rewards and prizes right through these apps. All of them are incredible. They're all affiliates of ours. They're definitely worth checking out. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.